If you are using waxed braided thread, which comes with the shoemaking kits, um, I'm going to puncture between some of the plies about a half an inch from the end, pull it through, and give it a little tug. And now this needle is not going to come off of the th thread until you want it to. The first thing to do when you're making the toddler walking shoe is to stitch the heel piece. So this will go around the back of the shoe. So I'm going to start inside this last hole. We're leaving a tail about two inches long. Then I'm going to go around the edge to anchor that and then a running stitch in one direction all the way to the other end. Now that I've reached the other end my stitching, I'm going to go around this end and then I'll fill in each of these spaces as I do the running stitch in the opposite direction. I'm uh, wiggling the needle around every time I pass through a hole to make sure that I'm not um, going through the thread that's already there. I'm approaching the end where I started so I keep on stitching until I've got Make sure you've got stitches on both sides, like here I don't have a stitch, so I've got to keep going. It's a little hard to see with this variegated th thread. Okay, so now I have that last stitch done and I want to end up between the two layers and I have all my stitches in that side so here's where we'll make a knot and we'll make a square knot um, so I'm starting with left over right and then right over left you can do it in either order and then I'll use my needle to go back through this channel and deal with the ends. So I'm going to just weave over and under a few stitches with uh, each end, pull it through and clip it off. And I'll do the same with the other thread. To stitch the vamp channel closed, I'm, I need to have my th um, end of the thread between the two layers again, so I'll leave that tail. So I went into the second stitch hole from the end. Now I'm going in the first stitch hole on the tab and the third stitch hole on the body of the vamp. And there's two stitches here that do not have vamp attached to them. One is to hold down this edge of the tab and the other is I just thought it looked better so I've got two there so I'm going to stitch to the other end stitch 
stitch to, through those two holes on this end, turn around and go back to where my tail is waiting. Again, checking that I've gone through every stitch on both the tab and the body. So you can see here, I could think that I was done, but I'm not. There's another stitch that needs to be made here. And then I'll go between the two layers. and tie another square knot. Then I'll be done with stitching the channels. Now it's time to get the elastic through this, these channels on the top of the upper pieces. So I've got about five and three eighths inch of elastic here and I put a small safety pin on the end of it and now I'm going to bring that through this channel over the vamp, the front part of the shoe. Now as I try to, or as I do, take it through the heel channel, I don't want this end to start popping out. So a couple of alligator clips are really important for doing this with the elastic. Maybe you can find some other kind of clip or bobby pins, but um, it needs to be fastened at that end. Then I can take it through the channel on the heel piece. So I'm just uh, gathering it and then extending it towards the end of the elastic. And here it comes at the other end. So I'm glad I've got this clipped. And make sure the elastic doesn't have any twists in it. Okay, now I'm going to clip this end so it doesn't pull back as I'm stitching the two ends together. I put a little nail polish at the ends of the elastic so they don't fray as I'm stitching it. And um, so I have a needle and thread here. Just a <clears throat> single piece and I'll overlap these about three-eighths of an inch. Then I'll just do a whip stitch on both sides. So bringing the needle through and continuing here. Maybe about three or four passes on each side of the elastic. I'm using artificial sinew here to stitch with. It's nice and waxy and uh, just the right thickness. Okay, when I have that done, tie a knot, and now I just need to take off the clips and move that, move the elastic out of sight back into the kind of the inside of the heel part of the shoe. So to do that, I will pull on this side, 
pull on the outside and then straighten it out and keep on doing that until almost got it it's almost hidden do it one more time pull then straighten out and now my join is inside there and um, I'm ready to add the sole. To stitch the upper pieces to the sole, I'll start here where I have this little mark and go in from the top and I'm going to anchor a piece of thread here, leaving a tail about two inches long. So I go around two times through that stitch hole with the mark and I'm going to start with the heel part and I skip the first two stitches and go into the third and then into the next hole And I'm going to do this tucking motion. I'm tucking the edge of the upper under so that there's no seam that's exposed here. And I'll continue doing that, going into the next stitch, and not leaving it like that, but I get the needle out of the way, and then I will fold and hold it so it stays folded while you pull the next stitch and give a good yank every so often so the stitches are um, nice and tight. So I'll continue on around here and the next time that you need to see something is when we overlap the heel piece and the vamp. Now I'm almost finished with stitching the heel piece in place. You can see how as I pulled really tight I got these uh, pleated forms along the edge. Now I'm two stitches from the end on the heel piece and I want the vamp to be on the outside. You could choose to do it the other way if you like that better. But I'm doing it this way. So now I'm going to stitch both layers at the same time. So that first hole on the vamp and the second from the end hole on the heel piece. Take them both through the needle through both of them and then fold. It's a little trickier. Do the same thing. Give a nice tug and then the second set of holes in both. And tuck. And get a good tug and now I will continue through just the stitch holes on the vamp and you as you can see when we get around to the other edge that's where we will overlap the inside of the shoe and finish off. Now we're back to where we have 
a need for two more stitches in the vamp and the heel piece. First I'm going to unwind that first kind of wrap around stitch that we made and pull it to the inside, pull the th end of the thread to the inside. Now I'm going to overlap these two. So stitch in that hole. Now I'm passing the needle through the hole where I had pulled that uh, twice wrapped around stitch. So I take it through the heel part. And now I've got both of my ends on the inside where I'm able to tie a square knot. Get pulled nice and tight. And so I'm doing right over left. And then left over right. And then I'll put the ends of my thread on the needle again and just uh, weave them through a few stitches here and the little shoe will be complete.